It's certainly heartwarming to see so many family members, friends, community members, employers here with us this morning to see these soldiers off to active duty. This is a great testimony to your caring and support for these soldiers and their families and for the duty and sacrifices they are making for our country and for each one of us. We'll stay pretty busy down there and I'm just going to try to focus on what I'm doing over there so that way it'll just go quick and come back safe. Tell us about your family here with us with you today. Huh? Do you have family with you here today? Uh, yeah, this is my girlfriend, mom, my dad. I got my aunts, uncles, and cousins, and grandma. I got a lot of people here supporting me. Makes me feel good and ready to get back home to it. It's really hard, yeah. His father, it's hard on us all. We have faith in them. We have faith in them. We have faith in what our government's taught them. And they're just not boys anymore. We pour, we would ask that you would pour great courage into each one. Settle every heart with assured peace. Aid us, we pray, in helping us to have a hope fixed and continually strong in this time. Lord, we thank you, and we would ask that you would bless the 2nd, 34th BCT, the entirety of it, and especially the 113th Cav. It just shows the support from the community and gives one chance for everyone to say thank you to the soldiers and all they do, and even to the families. And, and today you're sending off your husband, correct? Yes. And what's his name? Jason Kneven, Captain Jason Kneven. I have 22 nieces and nephews, and then there's six on the other side. So he's getting, getting a lot of help from a uh, family. Yep. It's a pretty tough event. Yep. Um, and it doesn't get easier. <laughs>